Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and we will show you today a little panel that can help you figure out uh, why your computer is crashing, what makes your computer crash. Maybe you've been having a random blue screen of death screens or maybe you've got some error messages or your computer just doesn't display any message but shuts down and reboots for no reason. And you're kind of wondering, okay, what's happening with my computer? Um, one of the things that Windows 7 has is a nice little uh, log of most errors that it finds. Uh, it's not complete, so sometimes when your computer crashes a little too fast, it, it does happen quite often that nothing is written there in the log. Uh, the first thing you have to remember to help you is, okay, what time and date your computer crashed. So if it crashes, okay, remember the time you were and what date because it's going to help you find in the logs what can have happened to your computer or what made your computer crash. And to go there, all you have to go to is the start menu and go into the control panel. And um, if you're in uh, the category section, I would suggest that you actually go into the um, large icons or small icons section. And there you'll have at the top administrative tools. And there in the administrative tools, you will have a little thing called the event viewer. Click on that. The event viewer is basically your friend when your computer um, crashes because it has a log of what's happening with your system and all its errors that it actually does with the time. Um, if you look on the left panel, so we'll just expand this uh, full screen. On the left panel, you have uh, Windows Logs. You'll click on that and you'll see there's application, security, setup, system, and forwarded events. So you can click, for example, um, on application, but first of all, let's just see there's an overview and summary that actually is written there. And it gives you a look, a look at what happened and tells you, well, okay, errors that happened and occurred in the last hour, 24 hours, 7 days warnings, um, all sorts of little details. Now, don't get panicked when you see numbers like this one, for example. Uh, all Windows computers actually have errors and it's totally normal because the, um, I would say the event viewer will sometimes log as an error. Uh, something that is basically not a real problem. For example, if for some reason, uh, suppose you're not connected to the internet, and the um, clock or the, 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 the service that actually controls your clock wanted to check what time it is on the internet, it can't because there's no internet. But it's going to write in the log, there was an error, I couldn't get the time. But basically, you understand it, it's not really an error, it's just that it couldn't fetch time. So you got to be careful, not everything is an error. Um, basically, what do you do? That's why I mentioned earlier in the video that you need to look at time and date of crashes because it will help you pin down the ones that are relevant, uh, relevant to you. And um, basically, you're going to the left panel and in the Windows log you'll see applications that you can click and there you'll see information going up. Now it says here for example an error Windows backup. Backup did not complete because of an error writing the backup location. Well normal my hard drive isn't plugged in. It can't backup. It's not a real error. So here you'll see the different errors and Basically, what you'll want to find if it's an application that's installed is to find what date and time your error occurred. You'll try to find that in the date and time 
sections here because if it's written something about an application that crashed well then it's going to be able to uh, tell you what uh, actually happened <coughs> sorry then you'll have security security is basically the panel where it tells you all the little security and log on stuff that's happening in your computer um, setup is going to tell you errors about what's happening depending on your computer so if for example a, a program started installing and went wrong or stuff like that it can be written here in setup and um, Windows Update could not be installed because of error you know, so it tells you here things that can happen for example here a Windows Update error happened um, system will tell you the core Windows information so if in Windows itself something crashed or something happened then you'll have an information for example here it says the display is not active ATI there was an error uh, bad that happened here something went wrong but like I said don't go crazy on what's happening on your computer with errors there's always gonna be errors there's it's impossible to have zero errors so don't um, fool yourself here if there's errors if your computer is going real well and fine don't try to find a fix it's okay some errors occur and just don't affect the overall Windows uh, functionalities so uh, don't go crazy on errors here and like I said I would use the event viewer only if my computer started crashing or giving me problems or freezing up then I would note the date the time and go into the event and see if we can um, actually find something that's gonna help me and from there you'll always have the possibility to check for the errors and at the bottom there's always event log online you can click on that and it's going to bring you open an Internet Explorer or your web browser page to a Microsoft page and if there's an error description it's going to tell you oh okay that is a problem apart from that um, most of the times when you get errors and you go into the event log online it doesn't return any information whatsoever so it uh, doesn't mean for example here it says we're sorry there's no additional information so depending on the type of problems you might not have a solution online by using this uh, function but at least sometimes what's interesting if you try to um, debug your computer yourself <coughs> by knowing <coughs> what file or what process actually crashed uh, can sometimes help you pin down where and how your computer crashed and that is a valuable information um, you know if your computer just stops and restarts by itself or freezes up and doesn't give any error messages it's kinda hard to pin down where it's happening and the event viewer can actually help you find that information forwarded events are basically um, blue screen of death type of crashes that will write a log and once you've uh, restarted your computer you will have uh, forwarded events written there um, not all the time but most of the time <coughs> sorry <coughs> I have a little cold here so uh, this is the event viewer it's um, worth it to uh, you know get acquainted with it and learn a little more and um, if your computer crashes up like I said note the date note the time go in the event viewer and look at application security setup system or forwarded events and uh, try to find what went wrong with the event viewer uh, there might be some nice little information that's very useful uh, showing up there so if you uh, enjoy our videos click the subscribe button if you have any comments questions let us know and uh, maybe you uh, have a uh, little feature of Windows 7 you'd like us to talk about let us know we'll try to put a video online for you and uh, hope that you enjoy our channel and come back to the official Windows 7 channel bye bye